With every life taken, there's a family left behind to mourn. On holidays, that pain seems even more evident. Today, News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers spoke with two moms who were spending their first Mother's Day without one of their children. One of the moms I talked to says it didn't quite hit her until she realized some of the tradition she's had with her kids for 23 years won't be happening today. His cologne, his do-rag, his little rosary beads that he wore. All Denise Trigg has left of her son fits into this one heart-shaped box. I heard the first gunshot as I was turning my back to put my shoe on. And as a mother, I just knew. Trigg's son Demarcus was killed in a drive-by shooting that left him fighting for his life in his mother's arms. Trigg says she hopes more witnesses will come forward. <laughs> While I'm holding my son and he's dying, on his cell phone, it's going across that Demarcus Scooby Adams just got killed. And, but yet no one can tell. Police still haven't caught the people who killed her son, which makes holidays like today even more painful. It was my son. My son has been with me for 23 Mother's Days. And this is the first one that I have to accept that I have to go be with him at a grave site. This was also Tamika Bonner's first Mother's Day without her son. Today, she took me back to the scene where she says a piece of her was taken forever. Just laying here, he was laying here. And all I can remember is dropping to my knees, saying no, 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 and screaming. Wanting to touch him, scared to touch him. I was shaking. I could, I was, I'm just shaking, shaking. He was stabbed multiple times in October and left for dead behind two vacant houses, leaving Bonner with one wish on her Mother's Day. If I can have one last hug and one last to tell him I love you. A simple gift she won't get to receive. Mothers, it gets it's hard, and I know it is, and this is my very first one. But if you're not going this, going through this, and you want to avoid going through this, you need to talk to your children. You need to, we need to stop being scared and acting like we don't know. The mothers say they want to see parents getting involved and the police more visible to keep other young people from dying. It's a, it's a life that's been taken, and that's somebody's child. That's, that's my child. I try to ease the pain, but it doesn't go away. It gets easier, but it doesn't go away. Both of the mothers say they want to see more being done to stop what they say is a cycle of violence. Aaron Rodgers, News Channel 15.